Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Club Solutions and I want to talk about workhorse groups. So there's a lot of talk, not only just about this, and also if I'm not mistaken, it's ticker symbol SHLL. And these two specific stocks this week alone have just performed exceptionally well. Uh, one of the things that I want to cover is uh, I'm a big believer that of course you can make money doing anything and that's never the question. The question is, does it and is it worth the risk and this is what i want to cover in this video if you guys want to look a little bit more into the company you can then better determine you know i personally think that these companies are being overhyped up there's no question about it you guys can feel free to share your own opinion down in the comment section but based off of how it was trading just last month to where it's at right now it's up nearly 700 percent as it hit twenty dollars a share the market cap valuation as of right now is at 1.27 billion dollars and Although they have received funding and they're working on financing, right? And all this uh, crazy stuff. You just have to make sure that you do your part in educating yourself on when things are being hyped up. And the reason that I'm trying to emphasize the importance of when things are being too hyped up is there's a big difference from a trade and an investment, right? I just feel like a lot of people are talking about investing in WKHS as an investment. And although you might see long-term potential, I absolutely wish you and I wish this company the absolute best. But one of the things that we need to just take into consideration is right now one of the things that WKHS is really good at doing is keeping this stock as a trendy stock, right? You guys can see based off of current volume levels and where it was last month, there is extreme, extreme demand. And this is of course something that doesn't last a very long period of time. We see this time after time where there is a lot of attention, there is a lot of hype, and it pushes the stock up because it is a trending stock for maybe the week, maybe for the month, but altogether, please make sure that you do your part in understanding the big difference from a trade and an actual investment, right? One of the things that I wanna highlight is there is no question that with these momentum stocks, it's a high risk, high reward. Yes, you can make a great amount of money just as much as you can lose. So what I want you to take into consideration is every time that you plan to enter a momentum trade, don't just think about how much money you can make, also take into consideration how much money you can lose. And then you can simply ask yourself, is it worth the risk? Is the upside for whatever it is that you see it to be, does that outweigh the downside? And if you find it to meet your criteria, then all power to you. I just wanna make sure you do your part on being aware of both sides. The second thing that I wanna cover is this is a day trade, of course, not necessarily a swing trade or a long-term play, at least in my eyes. There's a lot of great news. It is a super, super trendy stock as of right now. And the reason that I'm trying to emphasize the importance of a day trade is if it offers intraday opportunity and the directions in your favor, great, all power to you, right? But when it comes down to a swing trade or a long-term play, because this is so hyped up and you can easily see this with not just its price point, but with current volume levels, this thing is, again, it's experiencing demand that it doesn't normally experience. So when the demand ends up going elsewhere, then guess what happens? It pullbacks, it corrects itself, and then that's when it begins to dump. And I just wanna make sure that you do your part that you don't get the short end of the stick. If you see intraday opportunity, you can at least manage your risk within that day. If you hold something overnight, there's an uncontrollable amount of money that you can lose because you can't manage your risk when the market is closed. The third thing is, of course, risk management needs to be on point. I'm gonna keep this one super short and sweet. If you suck at managing risk, this type of stock probably isn't for you. That simple. And then the last thing is know when you missed the rally. Knowing that this thing was trading at $2 a share, right, just last month, and then now it hit highs of $20 a share, understand that, yeah, you know, the momentum can continue and if it presents itself intraday and it meets your criteria and you wanna take advantage of it, all power to you. But when you begin to see that this thing begins to pull back and correct itself and maybe lose its demand and its volume levels as it's currently having it right now, then know when to walk away. If you are late to the rally, just accept it. There's nothing else to it. Maybe you can do a better job next time uh, being a little bit more informed and in tune with these momentum stocks. But what I'm trying to say is I agree. You can make money doing anything. I just want you to be aware of the risk involved when things are obviously being super hyped up. So as long as we talk about that, I just wanted to make sure that I do my part in informing, especially our beginner traders and people that are just getting started to not just be sold on the dream of how much money you can make, but every time that you're about to take a trade, 
you need to take into consideration how much money you can lose. Because if you're just thinking about one side, then again, it's only a matter of time for you to end up you know, taking a pretty solid red day if you're not focused on risk management. Another company that you wanna talk about is very quickly American Airlines. I wanted to ask your, for your guys' input, right? As things continue to get worse for COVID, the overall market is pushing up today. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. Forward slash NQ literally is making new highs and it's on its way back to 180 day highs. So although some states, including Arizona, just as of yesterday, people were saying, oh, it's old news. Of course, COVID cases are increasing. Of course, we're testing more now than ever before. I get that. But there are states like Arizona, and if I'm not mistaken, like California and North Carolina and parts of Miami that are implementing closures once again. But because it's not statewide, right, throughout the entire United States, I can see how it's not overall having a negative influence on the overall market. But it's just crazy to see that things are still getting worse, yet the overall market still continues to push up. But with that in mind, and as, a, as states take more precaution to reduce the overall spread of COVID, what I wanna talk about is American Airlines. Right now, American Airlines is at the SMA line and it's at a critical point, right? It's it's trying to consolidate, it's not pushing up, it's not pushing down. I just wanted to make you guys aware that, again, right now, direction is unclear, but also, you know, if things do begin to get better, as we all hope it does, this is maybe something that, not just on American Airlines, but the overall airline industry, maybe something that we can follow up with, right? But just as much, if things do begin to get worse, then you need to take into consideration that, of course, it can continue to drop, but just based off of previous highs and overall previous performance, I just wanted to talk about it because of the current price point that we're at as of right now. So let me know in the comment section, which airline, if you're paying attention to any of them, which one is your number one pick? I would have to say the one that I'm paying the most attention to is either American Airlines or Boeing. I just really like the overall idea of Boeing and everything it is that it has to offer. So let me know in the comment section which one you're paying attention to. And also feel free to share your opinion. You know, there's I'm sure a lot of people that made great, great money when it comes down to day trading WKHS. But please make sure that you share both sides of your experience. When it comes down to trading momentum stocks, if you're someone that, you know, solely focuses on that, maybe what is some feedback that you can give for someone that is just getting started because I'm sure some of the viewers that are watching this video uh, might want to, again, not just hear about how much money you can make, but maybe some of the steps that they can take to manage their risk. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys haven't stayed connected already. We do run the largest Facebook group in the world with over 282,000 members, and that's gonna be that first link down below. If you guys wanna watch me trade live every single day, Click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group and see if it's a good fit for you. I hope that we earned a thumbs up and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.